a team guy. I think he appreciates other people. He respects other people. As I reflect on, on, on his career, you know, I like all the times he's won and the, you know, the times he's been a champion. But I think the thing that I'm most proud of is the times he's been knocked down and he's gotten up. In the world that we're in in professional sports, you talk about the relationship that, that athletes have on, on the public. And hero is a word that's thrown around a lot. You know, I was fortunate that you know, my hero was right down the hallway from me. I'll take this opportunity to wish a very happy Father's Day to my dad, Calvin, the man who helped me get hooked on hoops when we took our annual trips to the Final Four and always set a great example for me in life. Now, also a happy Father's Day to all the dads in the NBA. Of course, and a happy Father's Day to my dad who didn't make it today on the show, um, but he did make it to the NBA Finals this year. So you should be thankful. Yeah, I was there. For that. I got a chance to hang out with Pops. That was the gift. <laughs> also, thanks for teaching me a jumper because it ultimately landed me on TV next to Grant Hill. So there you go. Can't beat that. Happy <laughs> Father's Day and one to you as well. An incredible husband and father. And for one group of very proud dads, there will be an extra special gift this year. They're going to get to watch their sons get picked on Thursday night's NBA draft. And we had them reflect on the journey leading up to this milestone achievement. Again, the double team on Okafor. Look at him dribble out of it, switch hands, and lay it in. Are you kidding? As a father, it's unbelievable. I mean, we all seen our sons work hard to get to this point. We come a long way. I mean, you put a lot of hours in with your kid, and to see your kid get ready to do something that he always dreamed of, it's fulfilling. D'Angelo Russell hits another three. To watch your kid work hard to reach a, a goal that they wanted to achieve, the experience is wonderful. In his early years, out, out in the driveway playing with his brothers, and from there I said, you yeah, have the Allen Houston form, this kid might have a chance to, you know, play basketball one year. I was a high school coach for 20 years, and having a chance to just spend more time with him in the gym. And the more I saw him, you know, big kid, you never even understand, but he finally started developing. And I thought maybe he had a chance because he really got serious about the sport. His mom was a basketball great out of Arkansas, and I had a little skill myself. Every birthday, every holiday, I got my basketball net, a Nerf rail, a hanger. So, I mean, basketball been a part of his life from day one. To me, it's just being more of a father figure, trying to support whatever you do and never going away and letting them know that the spot's best, but he always has support at home. I've been the father, the bad guy, the good guy, and now just, you know, sharing my, my memories and sharing my stories with him and helping him make the right decision, and that's all I want to do. Me and Jalil, we always had a close one. We both get to enjoy this moment together. I think that's the best part about it. Through everything that he's been through and been able to accomplish, it's just a very satisfying feeling. I'm just going to sit back and watch his success and be happy for him and be supportive of whatever he needs. Some former NBA players could see their sons drafted this week, including Larry Nance, Hersey Hawkins, and Ricky Winslow, whose son Justice is expected to be a lottery pick. 